Well, monsoon season usually triggers another problem, and that is blood-sucking mosquitoes. They're not only pesky, they can carry potentially deadly diseases. Good morning, El Paso's Brianna Chavez is standing by with what local health officials are warning everyone. Good morning. Hillary, good morning to you. Well, there are two different types of mosquitoes in our area that can carry diseases like West Nile virus and Zika, just to name a few. That's according to the Department of Public Health, and they like to breed outside in areas like Mission Hills Park, especially if there's standing water. And in some cases, mosquito bites can lead to severe, uh, could be serious, as you just mentioned, especially for those at risk, like pregnant women and the elderly. Unfortunately, last year, El Paso saw several cases of West Nile virus, including two deaths. Some symptoms to look out for include body aches, vomiting, or even a rash, just to name a few. And the best way to prevent getting bit is by covering up your arms and legs as best you can, wearing loose, light-fitted clothing, staying inside during peak hours. For those pesky bugs, it was usually from dusk until dawn, and buying an EPA-regulated bug spray. And so most of these products are going to contain DEET. That's a really common one out there. It's very effective for mosquitoes and it's actually safe for all age groups as long as you don't overdo it. And here's one example of one of those EPA regulated bug sprays. Another tip to keep in mind this summer, make sure to drain any standing water in your homes. That includes maybe a flower pot that has water, the gutters, and make sure to change your pets water daily as well. If you want to report any standing water in your area, all you have to do is dial 311. Reporting live in West El Paso, Brianna Chavez. Good morning, El Paso.